Well, Confirmands, welcome back. Uh, we're looking at Lesson 17, where Jesus calls his first disciples. So, disciple is a word that we don't typically use, maybe outside the church. Um, so, let's explore what that means a little bit. Uh, a disciple is, is kind of one part of the equation. There's a disciple, and then there's a teacher or a master. Uh, the, the teacher or the master is the one who is to instruct, and to show by example or by words. And the disciple is one who literally follows after them, who learns and, um, uh, and studies underneath the, uh, the master or the teacher. So when, uh, when Jesus is calling um, his, the twelve to, to follow after him, uh, he is inviting them to uh, to a special relationship, where whereby Jesus is the teacher, the master, and they are the students. So, the, who are the disciples? Who does Jesus call? Well, all right, we looked at less last week that uh, Jesus is God in the flesh, and um, you know who might who might God call to be His disciples? Well, maybe someone would think that well, probably someone who's got power or influence or riches or fame, someone who is an important person. That's who that's who God would call to follow after Him because you know right God is God, so why wouldn't He call someone who's big and important? That's not who God calls. The, the first people who God calls, or Jesus calls, are, are fishermen. Now, fishermen, I mean, people made their living doing different things, and being a fisherman was a, uh, uh, a good occupation, a good vocation. Um, but it certainly wasn't maybe the most important one in, in the day. Um, Certainly the Pharisees or the scribes, someone who had more kind of a professional uh, uh, job, would seem more, more, more important. Uh, but that's not who Jesus chooses. Jesus calls fishermen. Uh, Andrew and Peter and James and John, uh, follow after me, he says. So as you're reading today, um, you'll notice that Jesus gives them um, a, a different task, a different job, a different vocation. No longer are they going to be trying to, uh, you know, cast their nets into the sea to, to catch fish. Um, he, he's got a, a, a much more important job for them, um, uh, a, a new vocation. And that is being fishers of men. What does that mean? Are they supposed to walk through the streets of Galilee with their fishing nets and just throw it on people and, you know, say, aha, I caught you. No, that's not what that means. It means that, uh, that, that they are going to be in the business of um, sharing the good news uh, of who Jesus is and what he's done. And that... Um, uh, that others would be rescued out of drowning in their sin and be pulled aboard the, the, the boat or the ark of the Christian church. Uh, um, whereas normal fish, if you pull them out of the water, they would die. Um, when Jesus is saying, you're fishers of men, he's talking about a rescue operation. He's pulling people out of the, the waters of sin and death and uh, pulling them into the life, the lifeboat, really. So he picks some ordinary people. He doesn't pick the the most uh, uh, politically persuasive. He doesn't he doesn't pick the rich, the powerful. As we read on, he's going to pick tax collectors. Uh, boy, talk about people who were not liked in that day. Tax collectors were one of them. And Matthew is. A tax collector who Jesus says, follow me. Jesus does this because, as we read in the in, in Lesson 16, he, um, he chooses the things that are humble in this world, and he exalts them. And the things that are exalted and lifted up, 
he brings low. And that's just the way that God seems to work. And that's what we find in the scriptures. So we find, uh, you know, this this is good news. I, it is certainly uh, good news for me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm no one special. And yet the Lord called me in, in, in the waters of baptism uh, to follow after him. And he's done the same with you guys. He's called you uh, through the waters of baptism to be uh, disciples, followers after Jesus. And now what we get to do in this time is we get to learn a little bit more about who Jesus is and what he's done and why that's important to you individually and why that's important to this world, to our families, to our, our, our communities. Uh, because now we're also on a, on a rescue mission. We're fishers of men uh, uh, in, our, in our own places that God has called us. We have, a good new, we have the good news of God's salvation uh, for all people. And uh, you don't have to be anyone special. But God's love makes you special, right? All right, well, as you read, um, learn and see how Jesus uh, makes his, uh, his choice and his disciples. Be encouraged that uh, he has also made you uh, a follower of him, a disciple uh, of, of him. And um, read through, um, uh, let's see, you're reading also, let's see, Matthew chapter, where did my sheet go? Matthew chapter 16 for your uh, uh, chapter in Matthew, and then your memory work for this week is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4. All right, God's peace, study well, and, uh, and trust that the Lord loves you deeply. We'll talk to you soon.